Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker, welcome back to once again to another Call of Duty Mobile video today. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we're going to be going over the top 5 SMGs in Call of Duty Mobile. We're going to be ranking them all the way from the worst to the best. If you guys are new around here, be sure to go and subscribe for future Call of Duty Mobile videos. And if you guys like this video, be sure to go and give it a like. But without further ado, let's begin with the worst SMG so far in Call of Duty Mobile. At the number five spot is being the worst SMG in Call of Duty Mobile. It just has to go to the cheek comb. This really shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone because if you've used the cheek comb before, you honestly know how bad it truly is. Now the recoil is decent at close range, but just the moment you find yourself in a mid to long range engagement, your chances of going and trying to go and kill someone is going to be pretty rough. You'd have better odds just going and getting the Outrider skin and the whole Halloween lucky draw than getting a kill at long range with the cheek home. When it comes to the damage with the cheek home, it can be somewhat lackluster. Burst weapons are notorious for being solid weapons in the COD franchise, but that logic is kind of thrown out the window here when you use the cheek home in COD Mobile. I always just find myself saying how is that guy not dead when i use the cheek home because i just put so many bursts into enemies with just no avail the only positive quality about the cheek home is that the clip size is decent but it still doesn't make the weapon good so you know with that said i just gotta go and give the cheek home two thumbs down at the number four spot i have to give it to the hg40 i feel like the hg40 recently got a buff but it still doesn't outshine over the other SMGs. And when I say it recently got a buff, I mean it would have had to happen within the past couple of days or so, because when I was using it for the very first time, going and testing it out for this top five video, I was raging. It's just the HG40 felt so clunky, but like I said, even though it did get this buff, whatever that buff happened to be, whether or not it was a more consistent recoil pattern or they buffed up the damage a little bit, whatever they happened to do with the HD40, it was a positive thing, but it still is just a normal, regular, average weapon. At close range, the HD40 suffers due to its low firing rate, and any other SMG out there besides the Chi Comb would win 10 out of 10 times in a close range battle. The HG40 truly shines in the mid to long range gunfights and is one of the best SMGs to use at range. Now, when it does come to that long range, that's where the HD40 can get a little bit inconsistent. It's so difficult trying to go and understand the whole recoil pattern of the HD40 at long range, especially when you're fighting another enemy and flinch is like a major factor. Overall, the HD40 is just a very average gun, like I said here in the beginning. The damage is nothing special. The clip size is okay. Okay, but the recoil and the rate of fire just isn't the greatest. For coming in at the number three spot here, we have the MSMC. The MSMC is definitely a unique weapon in my opinion, and I just like having it right here in the middle of the SMG list. Now let's begin with the range of the MSMC. If you were to tell me what weapon would I want at close range, SMG or not, I would hands down without hesitation go with the MSMC here. The MSMC just fits the true meaning of what an SMG is all about. It shreds at close range, it's somewhat decent at mid-range, but it just absolutely blows at long range. I think in terms of a long range engagement, if you were to ask me, Parker, would you rather prefer the Chi Comb or the MSMC? I'd probably have to go with the Chi Comb. Alongside the range, the damage helps make this weapon a beast at those close range gunfights. The damage can get a little bit average if you go and shoot people at mid-range, but if you find yourself once again in another long range engagement, the damage would just be the equivalent of going and shooting some guy with a pea shooter. And the history with the MSMC is definitely an interesting one here too, because in the preseason, the MSMC would just go and tear people apart, whether or not it was at close range or like a mid-range gunfight, the gun was an absolute beast, but then they went and nerfed it. But I don't know, man, the MSMC and I definitely have a very interesting relationship. I'm not the biggest fan of the MSMC, even though I know there's so many people out there that love it. And I would even say that 
I'm more of an aggressive type of player when it comes to the multiplayer in Call of Duty. So you would have to imagine the MSMC would be a better gun for me since I would find myself in these close range gunfights the majority of the time. But I feel like there are just two other SMGs that I think I would rather prefer. Whether or not it was just due to the nerf with the MSMC that's making me not use this weapon as much. But I will say this, the MSMC is still a very powerful weapon and it's still, like I said, it's a love-hate relationship that I have with it. At the number two spot, I have to give it to the PDW. The PDW is my personal favorite SMG and even though it got a very similar nerf, just like the MSMC, it's still a great solid weapon to go and use. I would even classify the PDW as being the best overall SMG because just no matter the range that you find yourself in, I feel like the PDW is always decent. The recoil isn't too crazy to go and handle and it can even hold its ground with a lot of the ARs out there when it comes to those mid to long range gunfights. Now the damage is okay, but it kind of makes up for it with its clip size. The PDW has the biggest clip size out of all the SMGs, which makes it a great overall weapon if you're planning on going for chain kills. And that really is just a huge reason why I love using the PDW here because I don't always have to reload it after I'm done killing someone because I know that I still have a lot more ammo left in the magazine. Another thing that I just absolutely love about the PDW is the iron sight. It's just a simple line and I'm kind of perfectly fine with that because I'd even argue that it's one of the best iron sights out of all the weapons so far in Call of Duty Mobile here. Now even though I did mention this in the beginning of my whole analysis here with the PDW but it truly is just one of my personal favorite weapons to go and use for this game because it was like love at first sight when I saw this for the very first time back in the preseason one days for Call of Duty Mobile when it was still in its soft launch format but just using the PDW, it felt very encouraging, especially if you were a beginner player to mobile games in general, because prior to Call of Duty Mobile going and dropping out in its beta format, the last time I went and played a mobile game was when PUBG Mobile came out for the very first time, so with just hopping onto Call of Duty Mobile, not really having that much mobile experience, and then just finding this PDW here, it's a very forgiving weapon, and that's what I kind of appreciate about it you know maybe i'm just holding on to it still just for nostalgia purposes but nevertheless the pdw is just such a great overall weapon and here we are ladies and gentlemen at the number one spot probably the majority of you guys watching this video right now already know what i'm going to go and say here but in terms of being the best smg so far currently at the time i'm making this youtube video I just have to go and give it to the AKS. I know I just got done giving heavy praise to the PDW for being just such a solid overall weapon to go and use. I even said it was one of my personal favorite weapons to go and use just due to the mid to long range engagements that you can go and find yourself in and just being a better weapon even amongst ARs in this game as well. But now when it comes to the AKS, because I've been slowly using it for the past couple weeks, it truly is becoming one of my favorite weapons here. Who knows? Maybe just the more and more I go and play with this weapon, maybe it will surpass my personal favorite list from being the PDW to the AKS. And I think the main reason why that is, is because the AKS is like a mixture between the MSMC and then the PDW, just kind of extracting the two great qualities about those weapons, but then only having it for one weapon here. The AKS has the fast firing rate of the MSMC and then just a very similar recoil pattern to something like the PDW. So it just truly is combining the best of both worlds there. At close to mid-range gunfights, the the AKS is one of the best weapons to go and use, and then when it does come to those long range gunfights, it's one of the best SMGs to use. The damage is one of the highest amongst all the SMGs in this game, and it's just a really fluid weapon to go and use. It's not a clunky experience whenever you go and use the AKS, whether or not it is at those close range gunfights where the fluidity of a weapon really does matter, whether or not you're able to go and ADS in time, or whether or not you're able to go and get those 
hit fire shots off and it really is just one of the reasons why this is slowly becoming one of my favorite weapons but ladies and gentlemen that is going to go and conclude the video today thank you guys oh so very much for tuning in and watching i really do appreciate it if there's any type of video suggestions that you have for me whether or not it's a top five video or a top 10 video or you want me to go and do a face-off video i'm totally down for whatever so if you guys have any suggestions feel free to go and let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in going and watching me play some call of duty mobile live be sure to go and check out park of the slayer live there will be a link to that channel down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment and if you guys want to watch funny moments in regards to cod mobile be sure to go and check out call of duty mobile clips there will be a link to that channel as well in the description as well as in the pinned comment but without further ado ladies and gentlemen my name is parker thank you guys oh so very much for tuning in and watching and i guess i'll talk to you guys in the next video